Hello everyone, it is Anna Flutter here and I am taking you through an entire week where I plan my day. So this is a weekly setup that I did with my patrons um, over during a live stream. If you want to participate in these types of live streams, uh, go check me out at patreon.com slash Designs, and you can uh, have a say in how I design different kits, um, what the next kit is, uh, you participate in a lot of different polls, you get a lot of freebies, and uh, once a month we do a weekly live stream um, where we just sit, hang out, talk for an hour or so while I set up my uh, week. And it's been a lot of fun and I really appreciate all of my patrons. So this video I am going to go ahead and take you through me planning day by day in my bullet journal. I think that um, a lot of times people talk about not getting to see the active planning process. Um, I will be changing that in July. I will be doing a plan my day series, but I thought that this would be a lot of fun to go ahead and show uh, different videos that, um, or different, <laughs> different videos, uh, different ways that I plan. So this particular weekly, I'm basically doing like a top three for each field of my life. So I have a work column, I have a business column, and then I have a home column, which you can kind of see there right under the VCR day. That is where my work is. Uh, on the top right is where I put my business information and then the bottom right is where I put my home stuff. So a lot of times um, when I am trying to not be stressed, <laughs> I will do a layout like this where I really uh, try to condense my to-do list. There are other things that I do besides this list that I have out, but usually those are like smaller tasks. And so I'll just put like the big tasks here. So one of the things I did really, really differently this month, and because it is the end of my bullet journal, I referenced this while I was setting up this uh, monthly, is I wanted to try where I could see my habits every single day. And if that would help me actually do my habits and fill out my habit tracker because I've been doing a very very bad job of filling out my habit tracker so I wanted to kind of experiment and see if this type of system would work for me and it actually has been working for me really well but the problem is that there's like a lot of space for that habit tracker and I'm not going to do a Dutch door every single week for every single month because that will make it very difficult to plan in my planner because of how, uh, like, the middle will be very, very large and then the ends will be smaller. So it's definitely more difficult to plan out that way. Um, so I... I I like this setup, but it's obviously not something that I can do every single month. But I have liked the experimentation of everything and seeing how it would work. So I think that I'm changing my planning style a lot going forward in July. And I think that that is going to help me when it comes to like these habit trackers and stuff. So the, the only problem I have is like the way I'm going to plan then, like starting in July, is a lot more writing. <laughs> and some days I don't like to do that. So um, you'll see what I mean when I do my plan my day series. I'm really excited about it. This is not a planning style that I've done before. And I just really felt the need to change things up. One of the other things that I really like using my bullet journal for is self-care type of things. 
And I really, I think with the new way I'm planning, I think that that is going to help me a lot with self-care. Um, so basically, you'll, you'll see it when I start doing the plan with me. Basically, I'm going to do a lot of like sketch notes and things like that. I, I've actually been like thinking about this for probably um, since maybe March when things started uh, becoming a little bit more difficult with my mental health. And then I was watching the workshop week with like how to do sketch notes and things like that. Um, and I will link that kind of information uh, from the person that um, conducted that particular segment of workshop week. And I just, I really love the concept of that and trying to kind of free yourself a little bit and, and get creative with your to-do lists and things like that. And, and just like marking things that happen during your day. It's something that I've really loved about bullet journaling. And I think that doing things day by day will be a little bit easier. And in, I, I'm moving into a B5 notebook, which is terrifying for me. But um, I think that this type of style will, will really lend itself very nicely to a B5 notebook. So um, I'm really excited to try it out and see how it works. And um, hopefully you all like it too and, and find some inspiration from that as well. And I think a lot of the change has to do with like my life is going to look very different soon because I won't be working from home. Um, and I, I think that how I have things spread out among a lot of different notebooks has worked really well for me uh, while I've been working from home. And I kind of found some peace in <laughs> that quote unquote planner piece in that situation. But now I'm just like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going to work and how it's going to work. Um, I, I don't know how often I will be back in the office. I don't like a lot of stuff is so unknown that I'm just I'm not sure <laughs> how life is going to look. And I think having a lot of space in a planner might help me when it comes to just like jotting things down and doing the sketch notes and all of that kind of stuff so that I can really put my life in one planner and then like when I'm home I can decipher out that information and and put it amongst my other planners or maybe I just find that doing things in one planner is better for me I'm not sure right now <laughs> I think a lot of people, as they're transitioning back into a quote unquote normal life, um, this is going to happen a lot to people where like you found a system that worked for you while you were working from home or um, while, while things were, I, I don't really know the right terminology, but things, have, things are changing, right? So I... It was really hard transitioning to work from home. Um, it actually wasn't as hard for me because I do generally work from home part of the week um, prior to the whole pandemic starting. And so I already had an office set up. I already kind of knew how this was going to be. I also had four months work from home while I had my knee surgery. So it's something that I had experienced right before the pandemic from August to December. So I, I like kind of already knew how things would look for me um, doing work from home because I had already made that transition earlier. So now transitioning back is 
there's just so many unknowns. I'm just, <laughs> I don't know. So I think the B5 will give me a lot of space to try to explore new things. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful while I was talking about my life, uh, trying to figure out what you are going to do with your life going forward and in your planner style. So thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that kind of jazz, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone!